Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Agent of World number one. I believe this is a variant cover, so you won't necessarily find this on uh, shelves. Uh, it's written by De uh, Denise Camp, art by Philva Ratukin, color designed by Jason Wordy, lettered by Hassan Atsmane Elu. Um, all right, so Agent of World. It is about this guy named Philip who works for this organization called World. Um, it is kind of like a wacky spy series. Um, the first mission he has to go after is a um, Russian scientist who is kind of like crossed the line and needs to be brought in, and um, they have to go up against weird robots. It's it's kind of out there, but the point is, is that this is this agent Philip, uh, whose uh, entire thing is being an agent. Um, he goes, does his missions, and then he likes his downtime. So the question is, why does he want to be downtime, and can he be anything other than the killer that he's been uh, designed to be? That seems to be the premise of Agent of World. Uh, at the end, we kind of get a hint as to what he wants to be. Um, oh, tons of agents have been gone, uh, sent to go and watch him and um, see what he does as an off time, and all of them have been killed. Uh, so World doesn't even know what uh, what they're up against. It's an interesting debut. I mean, it's, it's one that... You know, uh, is is very wacky. It's very out there. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Manhattan Projects and maybe Old School Lobo. Not just in the story, but also uh, the art style. Um, it's very Nick Patera at times. I think he did Manhattan Projects, um, and it's 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 good. Like it's it's interesting. It's weird. It's goofy, and it's just like out there action. It's the type of thing of the opening scene of him having to go take care of someone and just, like, the random chaos that he ends it. Um, you know, it, it, the comic is chaotic in uh, in many ways, and I think it's kind of on purpose chaotic. Um, it's chaotic and kinetic is a great way of, of really kind of looking at it. And it's good because of that. Like, it's, it's entertaining, it's weird, it's different, uh, and it, it's fun. Um, you can see the art that we're going to sh I'm showing off now, and... It, as I said, it reminds me a lot of Manhattan Projects. Um, very, you know, it's, it's been such a long time with that comic, but from what I remember, style just kind of reminds me of that. And it's just that type of thing where, like, you go into the the agency world headquarters, and it's just all sorts of really small, weird stuff. Um, yeah, we're not going to go there, because that'll be a spoiler. Um, all sorts of, like, really weird, crazy things, um, you know, that you just kind of have to pause on the page and look in the background and see what's going on. Um, you know, looking at it, there's, like, weird monster aliens and being handcuffed and robots and all sort of, like, all sorts of... It's just one of those things that you really have to look at the details, I think, to, to appreciate just the insanity of the world that is being uh, designed. Um, overall, I think it's got a lot of potential. It's really interesting. Uh, it just feels to be kind of like a goofy spy superhero-ish um, series and like, you know, one where you gotta go really look and get all the jokes and to really appreciate it and it's not necessarily these are bad jokes, but there's just a lot thrown at you. Um, not just, you know, the actions, but the visuals as well. I like it. It's it's, it's very intriguing. Um, kind of what I was hoping for. Um, I, I really want to see what the next issue is. So like, you know, on a scale of of up to 10, I would probably give like a 7.5 out of 10. Like, it's just, like to me, it's solid B if we're going that sort of scale. Uh, out now in comic shops, you can go get this. We've got a link beneath this video uh, where you can put in your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, most likely, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And just watching your video support us, so thank you for that. If you are into Scout Comics, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.